Hi guys, welcome to my video financial statement part 2 In this video, we're gonna talk about income statement and cash flow statement But before that, watch first financial statement part 1 here Let's go directly to income statement What is income statement? Income statement is a report that will present profit or loss of a company in a certain period. Talking about profit is always interesting, right? So let's take a look at the example of income statement. Basically, income statement is just total revenue minus total cost. In this income statement, we can find operating income comes from the sales or it is revenue minus operating cost including depreciation what is operational cost operational cost is that cost that may happen due to operational process or day-to-day -day activities such as cost of raw material salary expense overhead cost marketing and also administration cost how if company purchase an asset? It is not operational cost, but it is capital expenditure. In this case, the net sales is $3,000. Operating cost including depreciation and also amortization is 2616.2 plus $100 equals to $2716.2. From these two, we can find operating income or EBIT, earning before interest and tax. By subtracting sales or revenue with operating cost including depreciation. So $3,000 minus $2,716.2 equals to $283.8. Wait, I see amortization. What is amortization? So basically, amortization has the same concept with depreciation. If depreciation is decreased in value of fixed assets, while well, amortization is decreased in value of intangible assets such as goodwill and patent. Frequently asked question, is EBIT the profit? The answer is no. EBIT is earning before interest and tax. So to find the profit or we call as net income, you have to deduct first with interest, then you need to deduct with tax, then you will get the profit. EBIT deducted by interest we call as EBT, earning before tax. EBT deducted by tax will be EAT earning after tax or we call as net profit or net income what is interest interest is payment due to debt company O well tax is calculated from percentage of tax times EBT in this case the EBIT is 283.8 dollars the interest is 88 dollars so we can find the EBT equals to EBIT minus interest. It is 283.8 minus $88. It equals to $195.8. The tax rate is 40%. So it equals to 40% times EBT. Equals to 40% times $195.8. It equals to $78.3. So the net income is EBT minus tax. $195.8 minus $78.3. It equals to $117.5. Now, 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 look back to the statement of shareholder equity in my previous video. The net income is $117.5. Yes, it comes from income statement. Now, you could see the relation between each financial statement, right? Okay, let's examine your understanding. Again, AKY Corporation. 
In 2019, AGY Corporation has net sales $20,000. Its operating cost, including depreciation, is $12,000. If AKY has to pay $3,000 interest and 30% tax, how much is AKY Corporation's net income? First, the net sales is $20,000. Operating cost, including depreciation, is $12,000. We deduct the net sales from operating cost to find EBIT. So the EBIT is $20,000 minus $12,000. It equals to $8,000. We deduct EBIT with interest to find EBT. So EBT equals to EBIT $8,000 minus interest $3,000. It equals to $5,000. Now, let's find the net profit. Net profit is EBT minus tax. The EBT is $5,000. The tax is 30% times EBT. Means 30% times $5,000, it equals to $1,500. So the net income is $5,000 minus $1,500, it equals to $3,500. Nice, you can find it! There is other term we call as EBITDA. EBITDA is earning before interest, tax, depreciation, amortization. So EBITDA equals to EBIT plus depreciation and amortization. Or I can say EBITDA equals to net sales minus operating cost exclude depreciation amortization so good finally you have learned three types of financial statement balance sheet statement of shareholder equity and income statement in the balance sheet we can find that assets equals to liabilities plus equity the equity in the balance sheet comes from equity in the statement of shareholder equity we can find the equity or ending equity with this formula and the equity equals to beginning equity plus profit minus dividend. The profit or the net income in the statement of shareholder equity comes from income statement. Wow, the financial statement is related each other. Now let's go to the last financial statement, cash flow statement. Cash flow is the most important variable in finance. If I ask you, which one should the investor concern the most, cash flow or profit? The answer is cash flow. Why? If there is no cash flow, the company will stop and the profit will definitely go down. If the company gets lost, while well, they still have cash flow, the company can still run and they can fix the problem so they can increase their profit. Moreover, high profit doesn't always mean that the company is growing. Why? Because company could freely report financial statement as long as it doesn't violate PSAK. And profit could be made attractive for investor while cash flow could not lie. That is no cash in hand, no cash flow. Frequently asked question, is net profit and cash flow different? Absolutely yes, they are different. Why? Because not all transactions recorded in a period of time directly generate cash flow for the company. For example, if you open your business and sell your product, Mr. Andy purchased your product, but he will pay it next month. Mr. Andy's purchase is recorded as sales or revenue in this month because it occurs this month. And the sales or revenue will influence net profit. But you haven't got money from Mr. Andy, right? So you don't receive cash till you earn revenue. Another example is depreciation. Depreciation is expense for the company, right? So it will affect the profit. 
But does depreciation make you spend your cash? No. Is it clear, right? Now I'll give you the example of cash flow statement. As you can see that the cash flow statement is divided into three main activities. First is operating activities. It is any source of cash from business activities. We call this as CFFO or cash flow from operation or OCF operating cash flow. Example, receipt from sales of goods and services, payment to suppliers, tax payment, salary and rent expense. If we use indirect method, operating activities will be related to current asset and non-interest bearing current liabilities in balance sheet. Second is investing activities. It is any source and use of cash from companies' investment, such as purchase of fixed assets. If we use indirect method, investing activities is related to fixed assets in balance sheet. Third is financing activities. It is source of money from the bank or investor and use of money to them, such as long-term debt from bank, investment from shareholder, payment of dividend. If we use indirect method, financing activity will be related to interest bearing current liabilities, long-term liabilities, and equity. In this case, the net cash of operating activities is minus $2.5. Net cash of investing activities is minus $230 and net cash from financing activities is $162.5. So the net cash flow of a company is the sum of net cash from these three activities. Minus 2.5 plus minus 230 plus 162.5 it equals to minus $70. Net cash flow is decreasing. What does it mean? It means that the cash of the company decreasing. As you can see, CFFO or cash flow from operation or operating cash flow is also negative. It means the company's activity result in the decrease of cash flow. It is not good for the company. That's why the company has to set the strategy to overcome this problem. Then how to find ending cash balance? So ending cash balance equals to beginning cash balance plus net cash flow. Or I can say that ending cash balance equals to beginning cash balance plus operating cash flow plus cash flow from investing activities plus cash flow from financing activities. In this case, the beginning cash flow is $80. Net cash flow we have found minus $70. So the ending cash balance equals to $80 plus minus $70. It equals to $10. This $10 will be the cash balance in the balance sheet. Let's go back to the balance sheet. We can see here that cash and equivalent balance is $10. Do you understand guys? Let's try to test ourselves. AKY Corporation had $55,000 in cash at year end 2017 and $25,000 in cash at year end 2018. Cash flow from long term investing activities totaled minus $250,000 and cash flow from financing activities totaled $170,000. What was the cash flow from operating activities? As we know that ending cash flow equals to beginning cash flow plus net cash flow. So ending cash flow 25,000 equals to 55,000 plus net cash flow. 25,000 equals to 55,000 plus the net cash flow is operating cash flow plus cash flow from investing plus cash flow from financing. 25,000 equals to 55,000 plus OCF minus 250,000 plus 
thousand. So we can find that OCF equals to twenty five thousand minus fifty five thousand plus two hundred and fifty thousand minus one hundred and seventy thousand. It equals to fifty thousand dollars. Wow, you can do it! Next thing, what is the impact of balance sheet change toward cash flow statement? As we know that balance sheet components is assets, liabilities, and also equity. If assets beside cash increase, does your cash flow increase or decrease? Of course, decrease. For example, you purchase equipment. When you purchase equipment means your asset increase. But you purchase equipment using money, right? It means your cash flow will decrease because you purchase equipment. Second, liabilities. If liabilities increase, will your cash flow increase or decrease? The answer is, of course, increase. For example, you borrow money from the bank. After you borrow the money, then you get the cash, right? Of course, your cash flow will increase. And the last is equity. If equity increase, Will your cash flow increase or decrease? Of course, increase. For example, your company gets money from the shareholder. The equity increase. Of course, the cash of the company will also increase. Is it clear, right? Nice. You are amazing, guys. You have learned four types of financial statement. Two financial statement in the previous video. It is balance sheet and also statement of shareholder equity. And in this video, you learn about income statement and cash flow statement.